Okay, so tell me who you are and what you do. Okay, hello, my name's at LJ Rich. I'm a TV producer and music composer. Perfect. Did you just tell me your Twitter name or your real name? Actually, that is my real name. Ah, I have awesome. A real Twitter name. So you're one of the few. So, LJ, tell us what you wanted to be as a child. I wanted to be an astronaut. Really? I loved space, absolutely still do. I really, really love the whole idea of just floating free above the world, looking down, having that perspective, but most of all experiencing weightlessness. So this is probably a silly question, the next question. What was your favourite toy as a child? Well, weirdly enough, my favourite toy as a child was a Spectrum. I had a ZX Spectrum 48K and I used to love uh, programming and basic on it and playing games on it. And just generally, I just loved anything to do with gadgets and technology even then. And I was a huge reader of science fiction books and sci-fi literature. And I think just escaping into a world of technology was started in me at a very early age. Perfect. So, what do you actually do today then? Today, I'm a freelance TV producer. I work on programmes like BBC Clip, which has a Twitter following of 1.8 million, oh my goodness. And we go out all over the world to, I think we're available in 320 million homes worldwide, which is quite overwhelming when you think about it. And my job involves making TV, so it's not just doing the talky bit on the outside that everyone sees. It also involves filming a lot of it, getting the stories, getting the ideas, finding interviewees, and generally being responsible for putting together television that hopefully people actually want to watch. Perfect. So how would you suggest a young person today manages to get to do your job? What steps would they take? Okay, I think the best thing to do, and what sort of got me in there, or at least what got my foot in the door, was being able to show people that I'd already done some stuff. So if you wanted to get into, say, working in TV, then make some videos, put them up online. The internet is so incredible now. Back in the day when I started TV presenting, you used to record stuff onto VHS tape and send it to people who would then watch them and decide whether or not you'd come over from an audition. Nowadays, whatever it is that you want to do, you have some kind of web presence and say, right, this is what I do, and then you have a meeting with someone important, you can point them to a URL or somewhere which shows what you can already do. That person will then see that you're capable and see your potential. So my advice would be, don't wait for somebody to guess at your potential, give them some clues, and that's whether it's on TV presenting or TV producing or just anything. If you have a go and show someone that you're having a go, that means more than any number of CVs. Perfect, thank you very much.